Years before we were able to take ownership of this vessel, we looked at a lot of different makes and models of different catamarans. When we stepped on the Leopard 45, it stood out to us almost in the very beginning. Only after thinking about it a while, Stephanie and I also decided that it had a lot of value for having the dogs on the boat. What a lot of sailing couples will say is, the man wants to go sailing and everything else is secondary. And so we will bile down to anything that our wives want in order for them to feel happy and enjoy the sail experience for themselves. And for this couple, having our three dogs on the boat was paramount. So we're gonna talk about why we feel that not only has this been a great purchase for her and I, but it was also a very good quality of life issue when you have three big dogs. So let's go through all of the aspects of why this vessel is perfect for dogs. Good afternoon, Miss Nuala. Did you need a refill on your drink? We have a yoga class scheduled in two hours. I'll let you know when we're ready for you. And your massage is scheduled at five. All right, I'll let you get back to your sunbathing. Reason number 10, recess ports along the deck. One feature that we were sold on, which is also very important for our dogs, is these recessed ports. And what I mean by recessed is that the fiberglass was molded so that there's a dip for which the port, when attached to the vessel, is actually at the same level as the fiberglass. You can see Nubis is actually standing on the port, and there's no ability to actually stub your toe or, or trip a paw up on it. You're not supposed to step on them, but at the same time, it's nice that as you're walking past them, you're not tripping on them. The fiberglass shell of our vessel is not necessarily easy for dogs to walk on. It can be somewhat slippery. And so having tripping points for the dogs is just gonna make it extra hassle and possible danger for the dogs. So all of our ports throughout our vessel uh, are recessed like that, which is a really nice thing. And if you talk to other owners with boats that uh, are not recessed, you will hear stories of people stubbing their toes. Reason number nine, wide sides along the deck. An additional item that has been very good for us and our dogs has been our wide decking when you're going outside the salon, either from bow to stern or stern to bow, you walk down this decking here. It's wide, ports are receded along the way, no tripping hazards. And then we have these guardrails going through our stanchions. One is about two feet off of the deck and the other one's about a foot off the deck. And you can see Nubis right here. These wires are perfectly aligned for her and our other dogs. And for the two years we've been on the vessel, we've never had an event where we felt like the dogs had slipped or tumbled or gotten anywhere close to these guardrails. And as a result, we feel very comfortable having our vessel rigged the way it is. If you have a smaller dog, we see a lot of vessels putting up a nylon mesh that they attach all the way up and down as an extra safety guard. But after seeing how well the dogs took the vessel, we were okay. Reason number eight, low berths in the bedroom. How about you, Miss Nubis? Did you need a refill on your water? I have you scheduled with Nuala for a two o'clock yoga class and your massage is scheduled at 5.30, okay? I'll let you know when that's getting closer. Another feature that was important to us in deciding what catamaran to get was the height of the beds. We knew that the dogs were gonna sleep on at least the bed in the spare room, so it needed to be low enough so that they could easily jump up and down from the bed. Our dogs are a little bit older. Our youngest is six and our oldest is 10. So we knew that they could not be jumping really high. They love these bed areas. We let them sleep here with us at night. And they also come in here sometimes just to be alone and away from the other dogs. So it's a really great area for them. These beds were actually on the lower end of the spectrum of the catamarans that we looked at. And the dogs have no problem jumping in and out of these beds. So that's really been a wonderful feature for them. Reason number seven wide steps leading to the hulls. Another feature that we factored in when deciding on the catamaran that we were going to choose was the width of the stairs leading down to the hulls. Our dogs are a little bit older and we didn't want them having a hard time getting up and down the stairs. So we like the width of these stairs. They're a little bit wider than some of the other catamarans that we were considering. And another thing that we like about this that we've done is we've added tread carpets onto the stairs. As you see, they come up 
and the carpet treads give the dogs additional grip when they're coming up and down the stairs. So we've been really pleased with not only the width of the steps, but also how easy it is for the dogs to get up and down them. Reason number six, placement of the washdown pump. Another value that our catamaran provides us is located in the anchor locker. That's where we have a extendable accordion hose with a spray nozzle on it. It can both run fresh and salt water. We almost always leave it on salt water. It's right next to the trampoline, so we're able to pull it out, hose everything down. No particulate, no discoloration, no smells. It's strictly because of using the salt water to hose everything down. It keeps everything located in that section. Luckily, the dogs usually do most of their business either in the mornings or in the late afternoons and also right before we go to bed. So it's basically a schedule that we have that once we see that they've done their business, we go up there and we clean off the area and we hose down the area. But that hose down feature in the anchor locker is just fantastic. Reason number five, lots of room under salon and F cockpit tables. Hello, Mr. Mocha. How are you enjoying your sunbathing this afternoon? Did you need a refill on your drink? You had told us that you're not interested in the yoga today, so we scheduled your massage for 4.30. Is that going to work for you? All right. Another important selling feature when we were looking at catamarans that the Leopard 45 had was that it has two really large seating areas. And with these large seating areas are large table areas. These table areas provide an excellent area for the dogs to hide under. Dogs always like their caves. They like to hide under things and kind of feel safe and comfortable. So we use the aft cockpit area to tether them in when we're sailing. With three dogs, we really can't watch them all the time, so we really need them tethered in, and we found that they feel a lot more comfortable if they can see us, so it's a great area for them. We've added matting under the table area to make it a lot more comfortable for them. In the salon area, we also have a really big table area there too, and again, they use that as another cave area where they can hide, it's dark, they can be alone if they want to, or many times they actually, all three of them will go under there and hide. So it's a great area for them. We've added cushions underneath that area. These cushions we've cut out to form fit into that area. So it's comfortable for them. We're actually really pleased with these large table areas. We didn't think we would need it with just the two of us, but with the dogs, it's been a wonderful place for them to hide. Reason number four, usefulness of front cockpit area. Our forward cockpit has a number of benefits for the dogs. One is it's recessed and almost like a pit. And when the dogs go out, they will lay in the foot well of the forward cockpit. It is shaded because of this ceiling that extends out over it. It's closed in like a cave in many respects, which dogs really enjoy. They get their own privacy. Nobody else is there. Maybe we'll find two dogs together every once in a while, but if they need their own space, that's one of their go-to places. On top of that, the forward cockpit houses a number of storage areas and we put all our dog food there. We have a number of bowls. We fill them all up at once. Just forward of the cockpit area, there's the forward deck. We can use that almost like a lunch counter. That forward deck is the next section that the dogs really like. When you're at anchor and the wind's blowing directly over the forward deck, they will sit in the sun out there on the forward deck and they're up high, they can see, they lay down, they have the wind blowing, they can sniff the wind as it's going by and it's another kind of lounging area Anubis particularly likes that area. I almost think that she should be wearing a bikini. It's like she's just there wanting to sun herself. So the forward deck is another area that the dogs really, really like. Reason number three, trampoline area. Another, and probably the largest reason why dog owners should have a catamaran is the trampoline section. The trampoline section has a great deal of value. Number one, it is a safe area where they can do all their business. It is an area where we can clean it very easily. That is very important to us because if you're not able to clean the trampoline well, 
you're going to get a number of smells that you are not going to enjoy at all. It usually requires us going and hosing it down, cleaning up anything that may be there. The trampoline itself, the way it's manufactured and produced, is very easy on their paws. It's vinyl, their claws don't go into it. We've had this boat for two years and you cannot see any wear and tear that 12 individual claws on those trampoline all that time has done any damage to. It's actually quite remarkable. I thought that that was going to be one of our bigger expenses after a year or two that we would start seeing the trampoline degrading and it absolutely hasn't. The sun hasn't degraded it. The product isn't cracking and the dogs haven't done anything to it. Glad to report it's a product that we give absolute two thumbs up on. Additionally, on the trampoline, we have clipped in on all four corners some AstroTurf, which is kind of a bullseye for the dogs to focus on when it comes to the entire trampoline. As a result, good portion of their business is focused on that grass area. We have a line on it, we just throw it into the water and soak it for a few minutes and pull it out and it's crystal clean. We've been using that same grass for months now. It's not losing any of its plastic pieces. It really works and I'm glad to report that it doesn't smell. That's another thing. For two years of owning this vessel, we have no yellowing stains anywhere around there. We do occasionally wash the trampoline with a vinegar solution just to try to give it an extra cleaning but 95% of the time, we're really only just hosing it down with salt water and we have no smells. Reason number two, wide and open sugar scoops. Most leopard catamarans have a extended sugar scoop where there is very little encumbrance along the inside of the sugar scoop, this outside of the sugar scoop, and along the back. What this allows us to do is we're able to take our dinghy come right up here to the front with our dinghy and allow the dogs to get on and off without any encumbrance. A lot more sure-footedness. It works very, very well. Secondarily, we also have this pole that holds our solar panels and something that we didn't really realize was gonna be so valuable. While we're trying to get the dogs on and off of our dinghy, we're able to hold on to this. Being able to hold on to this and lead them with their collar has been very, very nice. On the outside of the vessel, we have this open area. When you're at marinas, especially if you are lucky enough to be at a marina with a floating dock, if you had this side part of the vessel extend all the way to the back, the dogs would literally have to jump over a part of the water to get to the floating dock. For this vessel, the way it's built, is you have this foot and a half section that's just absolutely parallel and touching the floating dock. And so all of us are able to walk on and off, very sure-footed, with very little concern of falling into the water. On top of that, when we go into a marina where there's a fixed dock, meaning our vessel moves uh, up and down with the tide and the dock is locked in. We actually have a ramp and because we have this open space again, we're able to put our ramp down somewhere on this very wide section of our sugar scoop, have it lean up against where the fixed dock is. And as a result, I can actually stand up, put my foot at the back of the ramp and allow the dogs to run up the ramp without the ramp sliding and without them having to either be thrown up onto the dock or them trying to leap up to the dock, it just creates a great deal of stability. And we've seen numerous other catamaran owners that have this section that comes down to here and terminates right here at the back of the, at the sugar scoop. And it's a little bit of a gymnastics for them to get their dogs on and off. The leopard sugar scoop being flat unencumbered on the sides is a very strong feature. And reason number one, front door. So when humans are on one of these vessels, most of the action is in the salon and the aft cockpit. But when you have dogs, the action for them, other than eating, is basically roaming the boat. And under most conditions during the daytime, they can go through the back door and roam around. Not a big deal unless there's pretty good waves. But most of the time, we are making sure that they do their potty breaks and that we get them fed. And this door represents all of those things at once. We have the forward door that only Leopard has. And it's so easy to just open the door. Come. Go, oh, busy. 
busy. So this door is effectively a submarine door. You can see it has three latches. It's got a very thick rubber gasket that goes all the way around it. It's a very strong door, but it also just works very easily too, because you can just open it and it'll snap open like that. Frankly, without this door, I would almost feel that a lot of this space would have been wasted and having dogs a much more tumultuous process because the dogs have to do their business. They want to explore and you need to let them out. And to think that under bad sea conditions or rougher sea conditions, the dogs could slip overboard as they go all the way aft past the open sugar scoops along the side of the vessel to come up to the trampoline area. That's just a lot of extra emotional energy that I personally wanted to avoid. So pups, what'd you think of this episode? What's that? Three paws up. So if you're enjoying this episode, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel.